Oh, oh, we got one. Team Ortiz, what's happening? What you mean, hell, boy? Keep reeling yours in, little man. Oh. It let go? Oh, no, no. Keep reeling it in. Keep reeling it in. You sure it let go? Keep reeling, keep reeling it in. You stop reeling it. You sure it let go? Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. We were excited, guys. Don't worry, Team Ortiz. We'll get it back together. All right. Reel it all the way in. Reel your line all the way in. Let's get it out the line because we got to reposition. Okay, because I'm still stuck. Okay. So I brought shoulders. Ooh. Break my boat, huh? Okay, folks, we're gonna anchor. We're anchoring close in. We're sitting on a bed of fish. See, I'm real, real close here. Close, I mean, you can too. We're gonna sit here and see if the rock will hold us, if the anchor will allow us to just hold. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to fish out with our worms in this location. You see anything? No. No, we're close in. Don't worry. Okay. You ask him, Fuzzy, help you catch a fish? Yes. Why just ask him once? Why ask him? Help me do the fish and help me do the fish too. No. That's right. I see Fuzzy. Ask the fuzz too. You got to tighten your line just a little, Xavier. Just a little. See, just where you feel a little tight. You got to tighten it a little. Reel it in just a little. Remember, you're not trying to mess. Don't. Remember, you have to do it easy. Nice and easy. See, where you're letting the boat drift in and pull your worm around where it looks more natural. Just going bump, bump, bump. Pulling it a little more. Let me see. Let me see, buddy. Let me see. Now, see like that? See how that is? See, look. See? See how that, that move? I'm not doing anything. I'm letting the boat do it. See? See? The blue. Look at it. See? See how that bounces around? Now, that's going to make a fish go after it. Where? What's that? Where? That's a stick. Where's the fish? Right over there. No, there's a fish right there. You see him? Yeah, it's moving too fast. It's moving too fast again. Reposition. Yeah. No, we're going. Yeah. To hit the rock. No. Nope. Okay. All right, you hold this. You really sometimes need two anchors. Yeah, two anchors would help us. Yeah. Especially in weather like this. You need to check on the device what fish are there. No. It, yeah, it's fish all over here. We know it's fish in the area. What if fish grabs on that stick? Okay, I this would, is what I would take an iron grab. Mm -hmm. yeah, it would be easy. That's how it seems. I heard that crack. I do not like the sound of that. Not on my boat motor. Alright guys. Let's reel it in. Reel it in slow. But let's reel it in and 
see if we can reposition. I got something. Do you? You got it? No. You you broke it or he come off? No, I had something. Reel it all the way in again. You're the only person I know. I don't know about you, boy. I'm starting to wonder. Now, what happened? Was it or was you on a rock? Oh, wow. Uh, well, Roll it, yours in, it fuzzy. was pulling on my screen. Was he? Yeah, it was. And then. Gentlemen, here we're interviewing X, little X. And we want to know what is a fishing technique, actually, because just recently you've had two fish on and you were not able to complete pulling them in. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us what is going on? What? Well, why you weren't able to pull the fish in? I was trying my best to just let go. Well, there you go. That's the way we want. That's the spirit. Can we get a high five on that? Yeah. Well, All right. Well, if you don't want it to let go, put it, pull it onto this. And, and if it tries to let go, oh, spin it as strong as you can so it won't let go. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. All right. Back to fishing with Team Ortiz. Mm -hmm. And right now. In hot water Yes. Sponsored by the Gamer Stress Hotline. If you're stressed out, you need to game down. If your fish ain't biting, you better be watching the Minister Hot Rod Shoulders. So you can learn how to fish. All right, folks. Keep going. You know what? Get this together here, folks. As I'm back here getting a bite. Uh, and I got a bass messing with this. I want to sort of show you how this really works. Um, um, and even though sometimes you'll think you're drag, don't reel it in. Just let it drift and nudge, and then he'll hook himself. He'll get it, because I found out if you if you snatch it, many times you're pulling out his mouth, and that's what I just did. Pull my worm out of his mouth, and many times I found out once you do your jerking, you need to check your worm, because um, uh, it will slide up and down the hook. Okay, we're moving just a little too fast. I feel it. Do you? Yeah. Okay. You got him? You got him this time? N n no. You didn't get him. Did you? I told you is just let it drift. And you'll catch it. He'll hook himself. Okay. We're going to have to get back over the spot, folks. Get back over the location. I don't know about you there. Team Ortiz? What do you have to say on that? See how you leave it out there because once, even though you reeled it in, he still may come back and get it. They're greedy. Okay, see how they mess with it? Don't pull on it. See how? Look, look, folks. Look, look. He's got him. He's got him. Now you got him, buddy. Oh, you missed him again. What you have to do is Grandpa oh, going to show. Oh, you got him? Oh, oh, you got him? Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. You don't have him. What's happening here, Team Ortiz? Will y'all get it together? Just, just let it drift. Let it drift, and he'll he'll hook himself. Grandpa, I have to show you guys how to set the hook. Okay, I got the anchor out. I'm drifting, folks. Let me back up. Okay. What's going on here? Whoo! Got my team here. All right, team. Everybody, reel it in. Everybody, reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel I feel in. like he's following us. Yeah, reel it in. We're going to get back over the spot, folks. All right. So I rise shoulders, folks. Mm -hmm. Here with Team Ortiz. Just had to coach Ortiz, number one, back in to what's going on. Just had to show him that he's catching fish. Actually, have caught three fish, but the only problem is he's not setting the hook before he starts reeling in. And also, I'm teaching them, you cannot lazy reel. You've got to bring those fish in. But um, Team Ortiz, number two, he's catching fish. I mean, no doubt. Sorry right. if you hear music. Oh, we'll turn around. Oh, 
Oh, hold on now. Sorry if you music. Well, what's, what, what is it? You wanna go ahead and tell us what's going on about because that? Because we hear some music back there. Someone might be like having a party. Okay, there you go. I notice they always do that every have that music on loud like that. Okay, back to fishing, folks. I know you want to see what we're doing here. Let's give you an up close shot. The pole is in the water. Get back it up just a little. What we're doing is the boat is drifting uh, 30 feet of water. We know this entire area has fish in it. Um, and all we're doing is drifting in this area. One thing is, what the, we're doing is, see how my line is going to start to tighten. And that's from the drifting and this worm is dragging on the bottom. You want to make sure that you're dragging on the bottom. So important. Mm -hmm. And see, see the tip of my pole, folks? See that? Mm -hmm. keep, keep an eye on that tip of the pole. Watch it. And what I'll do is I'll gently sometimes turn the trolling motor on to so we don't pull so fast. Uh, you know, you ever see a worm running across the ground? If you ever see a worm, a night crawler, just hauling tail across the ground, you better take off running. <laughs> it may not be a night crawler, but folks, you have to give it more of a natural uh, appearance. And see if you notice from the drifting, you will see the uh, tip of my pole. But the entire time, if I feel that I'm floating and I don't feel that nudge like it's dragging on the bottom, I'll let out more line. And right now it's calm, but today we're expecting the wind to come and go. We're in ninja mode. You take your shoes off where it's more quiet. I used to sit here and uh, play music. Now it's being more quiet because we're trying to catch the giants, and that's what we're trying to do. We want the giants. Shouldn't we say we're trying to sell it to someone who wants a fish? Okay, let's see. See the tip is dragging. You don't feel yours nudging like that yet? No. No? Yeah, now you do. You don't, don't jerk it. Don't jerk it. No, no, that's just a dragon on the bottom, see? That's not a fish. Now see this? This may, could be a fish or just caught on some rocks. And it's more than likely, because it feels like it's probably have to caught. Pull harder. Yeah, yeah, it it's like probably caught on like some rocks. Edge. Yeah, I was caught. I'm going to back up just a little. You guys leave yours out. I'm going to check mine because sometimes when you're, uh, you've come off a rock like that, it's going to, um, mess with your worm and everybody is going with the uh, this pro gold color when that nice shiny look at that Shh. it's the best one we have well no it's not the best one we have you but guys did you you caught s several with the uh, the crawdad color but you chose the silver to go with several? more of the um, the shad look, um, I mean, Team Ortiz number one caught one on the purple, and he chose to go with this shad color. What you want to do is, Fuzzy, tighten yours up a little bit, just a little to where you line it. No, that's letting it out. Tighten it up is reeling it in real slow, just a little to where it feels a little tight. Understand? Not a lot. That's where it feels tight. Look, you're almost could go up and touch the dam, uh, the top of it. That's how full we are. We haven't been this full in a long Not time. Fish yet. Huh? But the music stops. We need more fish. You want to concentrate, mm -hmm. Team Ortiz number two, on the technique of fishing. Um, 
see we're starting to drift off of our location now when we drift you don't feel yours bumping on the ground on the bottom like this you feel it moving like this see where it's like it's dragging on the bottom mm -hmm. Let me see what's up with yours. How come yours is still so slack? Is it? What's up? Because by now, where? Heck, no wonder. You're over here by the motor. Um, are you on that? Oh, wow. How did you end up? I wonder if I'm not feeling your reaction. Your, your line was behind the motor. That's why I couldn't understand. I didn't feel much. What, am I stuck? Yeah. I may be stuck. Here, there you go, Fuzz. There you go, here. Yeah, we're drifting too fast. Shucks. I'm caught. Okay, guys, reel it in. Yeah, go ahead and take it off. We're starting to drift too much. It'd be nice if, let's see if we can get this anchor down right here. But this would be a good spot. Let's yeah, see. Good spot to fish. Yeah. Good spot for more the fish. anchor will hold us. You down, anchor? I wish we got a good fish. Anchor on the bottom. Mm hmm? I wish we got a good fish. Yeah, put that on. No fuzzy. This arm like this. There, and I'll bring it around. Fuzzy, what I tell you? Listen, I don't think just this. This way, now bring it around. And bring it like this, boy. Now click it. Look at you, Xavier. Uh uh, did I say reel it in? Are you stuck? Oh, let's see. See, don't don't pull on it hard. You're just tugging like that little man on the bottom? Let a little more line out, Fuzzy. Pull the line out, yeah. We're drifting too fast now. Let me go back. It won't look so natural. Now, once we fish an area too often, the fish will become familiar with what you're using. What I'll do is we'll start drifting around the corner in a second. Let me pull this back some. Okay, what we'll do is slightly tighten up this line and see. You have so many fishing stuff. You have to, man. You'd be surprised you don't use half that stuff in that box. I mean, you know why you bought it sometimes. Most of that stuff catches a fisherman instead of fish. I got $20, almost $20 fishing lures in there. The one who caught me was me. Now, yeah, don't jerk your pole around. You want it to have more of a natural feel to it. See how, yeah, but don't, don't jerk on it. Just let it pull, it's pulling across the bottom. See, that's dragging across the bottom is what it's doing. That's what makes the fish go crazy. The bass will see that go past them in front. You'll know when you have a fish. To drag it? Yeah, because he'll pull back. Fuzzy, you're too close to the water. Pull your pole in some. You understand? Yeah, lean back some with your pole. A big fish will just snatch that out of your hand. Beat. Yeah, we'll we went from 20 feet to 15 feet. Uh, yeah, so it's notifying me of the drastic change, which is good because sometimes you can be halfway asleep and not realize, boom, you're getting ready to run aground. Okay, we're starting to drift fast now, huh? 
Yeah, whoop, there we go. Whoop. Keep an eye out there. Keep an eye out there. Now who's calling me? Anthony speaking, yes. Hello? Yes. Yes. What, what do you do? Yeah. Well, well, see, right now I'm fishing. I'm fishing. In fact, yeah. See, you feel that? You feel that bite? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll call me later. Yeah, because right now I'm fishing and uh, I might lose a signal. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you, you, no, I think you stuck, little man. Oh, no. You, no, you let go. All right, don't pull on it. Don't pull on it. They'll still come after it. Somebody was biting on mine. Shucks. Dude called at the wrong time. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. It's like, dude, what it's are we like talking about? It's like the perfect angle fishing. It's it is, fishing. huh? Yeah. I tell you, they're there. You don't feel yours tugging, Fuzzy? It, it wasn't tugging, huh? If you don't feel it tugging, it probably wasn't dragging on the bottom. It feels like it was, but it's not. Okay. We're getting ready to go around the corner because, um... <laughs> I sure would like to know what type of setup he has to where he can just sit out there in the water like that. What is that? Oh, a propulsion system. Okay. If you can just sit in the water, then you can probably just catch any fish that comes to you. Well, no, they're just going to swim and not fishing. You know, we got the jet ski in here too. I hear something. It comes from this way. Yeah. You see that rock, that's one thing. Oh. I think you see a fish. That's a big fish. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see a fish. Can you yeah. see them? Yeah. They're moving. Fish. Underwater. Oh, you boy, what kind of eyes you have? It looks like they are. Okay, we're going to have to pull up from here because we're getting ready to hit a very big rock. I don't want to feel that. And I'm not the boat. Okay, we're going to pull it in. We're about to fall in the water. Mm -hmm. Maybe chasing the sea mine. I think something chasing mine. I'm chasing mine. Let your line out a little, Xavier. Let your line out a little bit. Hit the button. When Grandpa said let it out, hit the button. Damn. Something was messing with mine. They must let win. the line out. Let the line out. Don't lazy fish. Push the button, Xavier, and pull that line out with your hand. Remember, you want to catch a fish. Don't be talking about, oh, that fish ain't biting, and you're lazy fishing. You got... It is, huh? All right, let it flow. What the fuck is this? It's, it's pulling. Why are you reeling it in, Fuzzy? You got a fish? If you ain't got no fish, why are you reeling that in, boy? It would have to pull really big. Yeah, you ain't got no fish. You something else, Fuzzy. I wonder about you. Because some was pulling on them, huh? You felt something tugging on yours? Yeah, I did. Yeah, too. then they just left. I wonder why there's so many things just tugging and then leaving. Okay, now see, that's dragging on the bottom, or that could be stuck. 
Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. See how you can tell the difference? Okay, now we're starting to drift too fast. Okay, you tight or loose? Tighten yours. Go click. Make sure you go click one. No, no, no. When I go click one, I mean wind it a little bit. Uh oh. Mm hmm. All right, that's cool. Right there. Uh uh. Don't reel it in. Are you you stuck or you got something? Okay. Let's go to a different location. Let's see. Sometimes I catch them on this drift, this fast drift. Just reel it in. Reel it in, fuzzy. Reel them in, guy. Reel it in. Bring it in. Yeah. We're filming Team Ortiz. Gentlemen, we'd like to ask you a question. Yes. What is going on with Team Ortiz today? We're trying to catch fish, but it seems that no all fish are coming to us. Are there fish in the area? Yes. So, Mr. Alvarez, show us has put you on the fish. You just feel you haven't caught fish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what the heck? Are we drifting like that, huh? Yeah, we're really drifting, folks. Okay, keep letting that line out, guys. We're moving fast. Real fast. We're moving fast. I have so okay. much line out. Huh? No, yeah, a lot of line going out. Let's see if I can flip us back around, guys. What I'll do is, let's do this, go forward. I'm gonna flip this like this. Let it out some. Ooh, we way out. Yeah, keep letting it out. What I'll do is go back up close to where the, um, we're fishing, but this wind has come up, man, and I mean it's up. I hate that. I'm gonna force us up a little more, folks. Little more. What I'm trying to do is, you want to have more of a natural drift. You don't want to look like, I mean, you're in a jet boat and a worm is running across the bottom. I'm on number two on the trolling motor and it's still pushing us down. Okay, now we're starting to gain. All right, so what I'll do sometime is I'll use the trolling motor, maybe put it on number one and just allow us to slightly drift backwards, but not so fast. You have to control your line, guys. Reel it in just a little. I tell you what, I'll let us drift back so it'll tighten. No, you don't have to bring it in. It'll, it'll tighten. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. As we pull back, it'll straighten out, see? See, it's starting to straighten out. Look at that. See how that line is going? Nudge, nudge, boom, boom. See how that pull? It'll go boom. You, you got something, Fuzzy? Yeah. Or are you stuck? You stuck? You caught. He's caught, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you stuck. You stuck or you got a fish? You're stuck, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, little man, we got to reel it in. Re little man, you have to reel yours in. He's stuck. Xavier. 